Hello everyone, this is Colin Heaps. Um, this is my video for Enhancement 8 in CIT 336. This week we created um, through the activities a nav category view that shows um, like so we can click the items in our navigation and it'll pull up a, a table with all the categories of the different products that we have. And for the enhancement, I made this product detail view. But really all that's in it is some links to PHP because over here in the functions page is where I'm getting products and I'm creating the HTML layout that the details page will look like. And in the controller just added another case called details that'll um, filter the input, check to see if it has the products. If it doesn't, it'll uh, display a message saying no products could be found. But if it does and it displays, it'll go to that build products um, details and uh, build out the, the HTML that I put in there. Um, and as well as this get product info is new in the um, in the model view. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna. Oh, I added some styles as well over here in the CSS both um, within my, um, oh, that was too far. Well, up here in the normal CSS style sheet as well as in my media query here. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple different views because everything looks better over here in Firefox. For some reason, the CSS doesn't come through as well. In Chrome, but Chrome makes it easier to check that that the HTML and CSS are valid. So um, we'll just click Canon. You can see it pulled up all these. If you click any of them, it'll pull up the products that are under those categories. Um, and then for the enhancement, I've now made see it looks different here. It's all stretched and weird, but um. <coughs> made this details page that will show the the product, gives a description, um, the vendor, like who made it, the, the material it's made of, how much it weighs, its shipping size, where it comes from, how many are in stock, and then the price. I'll put it right there at the bottom. So let's just check the HTML and CSS. And see, no errors or warnings to show. All valid. And the CSS, which still is linked to my one external style sheet, so it'll all be the same for all of these detailed pages. And it's also all good, no errors. So, yeah, it works on any of these. You can click holes and see that stuff. Um, catapult. Any of the, the rocket, it's all there and works. Um, but here, you know, use Firefox because see, it looks better. It's not stretched and weird. I don't know what's with Chrome and my stuff not working there, but um, it is also um, responsive. So when it hits a section, it drops down below all the information, and, and so it's still all legible and nice on a mobile screen as well. And that is my enhancement for this week. Thank you.